What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five here with my man, Eric Sheet Tabor. We're going to be talking through this little Thursday slate in the MLB. I have to apologize because it's uh, it's one of those weeks where I'm, I'm out uh, basically all week. and I'm not going to be able to do any NFL stuff this week. I will try to load my stuff on the site um, late at night when I get back or something like that um, for my, my core plays for the NFL this weekend. I'll be out for baseball for the next few days. And um, but I'll, I'll try to get my core plays. I, I can't do any builds because I'm, I'm in Idaho and I'm not allowed to, to play here. So I just wanted to start with that. And Sheets, you've been really covering. So I appreciate you picking up all of the real, real, and- real quick, real quick. Through, give a couple, give you a, give a couple of favorite stacks from football. I got you. I haven't gotten through. I haven't gotten to all of it yet. So I would I'd rather wait to okay. to, to go through it because um, I, I didn't realize until uh, last night when I tried to that I couldn't do it. So okay. um, I'm going to have to go through our just just using our, our true DFS through Sabersim. To figure it out but i will i will be happy to uh to, to post it all in discord and again uh-huh. i appreciate you guys hanging in there with us so um and also for sheets covering i really appreciate that so uh with that said sheets uh how are things going and then we'll get in this late after uh moving along i'm just i've been it's funny i've actually now i totally feel for the for for all the content providers because i mean I, I spent so much time <laughs> on it yesterday that i didn't realize what play you know it's like one of those uh <laughs> right. one of those one of those weird things but uh yeah, but I'm 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 around all weekend just doing nothing but crap, nothing but DJ and stuff. So I'm I'm around to update all the projections, all the MMAs and NASCARs and League of Legends and 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 uh, ping pong or whatever else is going on. And if there's baseball, oh, and football too. Forgot about that. And there'll be uh there'll be football also. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to but I'm ready to roll with tonight's uh, tonight's slate. All right, let's do it, man. Um... All right, nice. So a small little little three gamer. I think there's some ways you can get different on this slate. So we'll obviously talk about that. Um, starting off with this with this Houston Oakland game, uh, you're gonna have the incredibly chalky Lance McCullers, and I can't really say that it's it's the wrong thing to do. Um, he's gonna be really really popular, and I completely understand it. As will Houston be as a stack, and I think that they both make a lot of sense. So we're gonna have to try to find ways to maybe get a little different. One thing that crossed my mind was if I'm not going to play, if, if you're not playing McCullers, and potentially even if you are, I think on a five-game slate, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I think playing a Seth Brown at 2,900, a Loriano at 3,700, something like that, I could definitely get on board with with doing that. And maybe if they move Langoliers up in the, in the lineup or or I, I'm not, I'm not I don't want to full stack this this Oakland team, but it did strike me as something I could do different to, to maybe play a bat or two here. And you're, you're usually the Oakland whisperer, so I'm going to ask you what your thoughts are on that and what do you like in this? I'm not, I will not be doing that today. Um, <laughs> uh, I have, uh, I have McCullers, one of the three chalky pitchers. Um, and, you know, the, the question is going to be, you know, whether you want to pivot off of all three of them, or if you want to pick the two lowest owned of the, of the three. So I imagine that McCullers will be the highest owned of all of them. And mm-hmm. so, you know, listen, it's 9,700. It's not, it's, I don't think he's unfadeable. Uh, he's, he's not, not always worth 9,700. I'll put it that way. Yep. Um, and uh, Houston is rated to be the top stack, and and you know they're at home, and uh, oh, so what? <laughs> right. I can, I can play other teams. Yeah, you know, if, if they end up being like huge chalk, and you'll probably see a lot of lineups with both McCullers and Houston in them. Oh, uh, screw mm-hmm. them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't, you know, five game slate. I don't. I don't mind fading both of those things. But in fairness, and McCullers does rate to be the top pitcher, and Houston does rate to be the top, uh, the top uh, stack. But, you know, it's baseball. So, you know, I'm not going to play McCullers with Houston, that's for sure. Yep. And I do want to point out that in the big buy-ins especially, I've noticed that every time we've had like eight games or less, it's almost never a full stack winning anymore. Um, so yeah. I, I don't know if you need to do – if you want to do like if, use, use a couple pieces from Houston, I think that's okay to do some – to use a little bit of chalk. I just don't think you need to make it unless, a five-man in, stack. Unless you hashtag leave 4,900 on the table with your five-man. There you go. That's, that's – that, that, that's so that's a thing you could do. That is a thing a, you could do. That's that's it. Remember we, we saw it last year with the uh, in the showdown. Everybody was the guy had he won the the million dollars and he had everybody was twenty percent owned or higher, but he left like ten thousand on the table. Right. Um, remember that that was a, that was a wild one for. Well, I was for, referring for more to me winning two last week with my my forty nine hundred oh. left on the table. Oh, that's true. That's actually right. No, no, that's, that's right. I forgot about that. My bad. I totally yeah. totally spaced on that. That's right. No, that was four, awesome. four game slate, full five man stack, leaving forty nine hundred on the table. <laughs> In the three thirty three, no less. Thank you. Right. Exactly. No, I love it. It's hilarious. Um, all right. So, so speaking of other things you can do, I think you're going to have one of the other 
one of the three other ones in this Mets game. Sorry to I, I jumped out of order on you just today. Dude, Sorry about I that. thought you'd be so proud of me. I just let you just kind of roll. I know. Uh, I I was. No I was. Problem, but I, no problem. You know, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, in this game, uh, I mean, look, it's it's obvious that Correa's, uh, Carrasco is a, re- a very reasonable play. I-, I wish that Brubaker was a little bit cheaper because I wouldn't mind taking like a-, a little shot there. And again, I'm just looking to get, try and find ways to get different in on these little slates. Uh, one thing that, that I think you could do is I, I think that like I- because they're going to be a little bit lower owned, the Mets are definitely interesting to me. And I, I, they are going to, in fact, be lower owned, right? Like, I, I think everybody's playing at these prices. Houston, I mean, I've got, like, the early projections here. We've got them, you know, you've got guys barely in the double digits at all. So, I, as much as I, I do I do have, like, some confidence in Brubaker and his, in his, in his future, but uh, I, I can completely get behind both, sacks and, both sides of this game. Favorite bats would be uh, Castro, Reynolds, and Cruz for, for Pittsburgh, and the normal Alonzo, uh, Lindor, and then probably either Nimmo or 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 Naquin as a as a as a lower own piece, but I think that's very viable to to use to use those bats as just a you know not one offs but a little mini stack. Um, and I think that these pitchers, while viable, I, I I don't know. I don't feel Carrasco. I always feel like as a as a wide range of outcomes for a guy who's going to be fifty percent on. That's what I would say. What do you think about this one? So I have Carrasco as one of the other two, one of the other uh, two pitchers that are going to be highly owned. I think he's he's in play. Um, as far as Pittsburgh goes, just to give a little taste of what 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 happened uh, as usual yesterday. This is this this is happening in the League of Legends thing I'm in right now. But what's what's what what happened yesterday was that there was a couple of really like kind of good stacks to pay up for, and I came up with I thought it was a pretty good um what you call it um a little uh, secondary stack with Pittsburgh. I'm like, well, I only maybe play two or three of them. And it ended up, they scored like all the runs. <laughs> right. So, so it's a, you need like a nine man stack of the pirates, you know, pretty much. <laughs> um, uh, but I, I like, I like Carrasco here. Um, and like you said, though, at, at high ownership, uh, you know, it's kind of tough, but you know, there, there aren't a lot of options here on this slate. That's the problem. Right. Um, uh, and I do like the Mets. I think the Mets are kind of like the you know, natural pivot off of Houston. Uh, I got a couple of others, but uh, I'm kind of more into Carrasco paired with the Mets than um, mm-hmm. and uh, McCullers, McCullers paired with the uh, with the Astros, um, given mm-hmm. ownership and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's reasonable. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, Mets are fine, and I'm not gonna. I don't probably should be interested in the Pirates, but I'm not. Like they're like there's it's only a five game slate, and I have four teams kind of like in play as far as just raw upside and like, th- like five others that like uh, four others that might be values and, and the pirates don't show up on anything. So I'm probably not going to play. Yep. Um, I completely understand. Uh, let's move on to, uh, to the next one. Uh, Minnesota KC Lynch and Bundy. Um, look, it's a are small, gonna, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? I mean, if I was playing tonight, I would probably throw in one, but it would probably take me a few lineups to get there, yeah. just because of the, you know, the, the ownership, uh, the it, the price difference allows you to get your stack a little bit different. We've seen Casey really struggle with righties the second half of the season. Um, they've also had some big games as well, and I think KC is going to be pretty damn popular today. So um, I'm okay with with the idea of maybe fading KC at their at their ownership. I mean, they're going to be more on than the Mets are as of right now. They're like you're looking at double the ownership. I think I'd rather play the Mets in that situation just because of that. Um, and then, oddly enough, the early projections don't have much love for Minnesota. My guess is that changes a little bit. I'll say that Jose Miranda is one of my favorite plays in the slate. You can throw in garlic as a cheap uh, 2400 bat, and then you you throw in either Sanchez or Correa or something like that and get a nice little three man. That's what I'd be doing in this game, uh, most likely. But I would throw Bundy into a lineup if I got further down the line. And uh, I do like some of these Minnesota righties against uh, against Lynch today. Yeah, I currently have both Minnesota and Kansas City as as uh, as two two as the two top values uh, on the mm-hmm. slate actually. So um, I, I'm I'm kind of into that. I'm kind of into playing maybe even both of these teams. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, and and maybe. <laughs> That's how you. That's how you leave four thousand on the table. Maybe I don't know. Um, so we'll 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 see. But I have I have both these teams as pretty good value. So I think I'm interested in both ends of the hitting. I'm not gonna get to. I don't think I'm getting a Bundy and Lynch though. Yeah, I I, under, I understand. I, it's 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 just a 
you know, my mind, it just, when I, when we get to these small slates, it's just, it's baseball, anything can happen. And I like the idea of trying to find anything I can possibly to get different. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to get different enough. I don't think I'm going to get different so much that I'm going to play Chase Anderson. Um, so I'm, I'm going to cross that one out, even though he's going to be like the, the lowest owned pit player on the slate, probably. Um, Nicholas, I, I, I prefer over Carrasco. Um, he has looked a little more beatable lately, uh, for what it's worth, but I have, I have him a little bit ahead of Carrasco today. I have them pretty close. And then the St. Louis is the other, uh, the other stack that I'm not sure why, like, I don't know why St. Louis and the Mets are that far behind Houston and, uh, San Diego today. And even KC to some extent, I mean, KC's ownership projections are really high. Um, so I, I, I like the idea of playing, uh, playing St. Louis, against this awful Reds bullpen and Chase Anderson. And that is probably would probably be my favorite spot. I think if I had to, to, to rank them in orders of in order of favorites, um, probably would be Goldschmidt, O'Neill. They're expensive. That's part, part part of the problem. Dickerson and Donovan sort of balance it out. So that that's how the way I would rank it. And I don't like taking hitters against Mikolas in general, but he is a pitch to contact guy. Uh, if you wanted to take a shot on on Fraley or Friedel, I have no problem with it or even steer, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that today. I wouldn't be doing that today, I should say. Yeah, I think I, I think I prefer Carrasco over Mikolas for some reason, uh, just as far as upside goes. Yeah. Um, you know, for the same reasons that, you know, that he's, 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 he's pretty dangerous <laughs> uh, Carrasco. To, uh, I think, yeah. I think I prefer him in, in the GPP. Um, I, I give, Mikolas, I actually, I was going to say I give Mikolas a better chance to win. I don't think that's actually the case either. Uh, I think that, uh, I think the Mets are going to win that game as well. Um, mm -hmm. But um, let me ask you a question. I'm only because it's a five game slate. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a guy that we have, and we can go back to it. We haven't really, I mean, I've played him before. I mean, it's a small enough slate. Should we, should we not I consider know. Brubaker at all for Pittsburgh? Oh, I mentioned to him before. Yeah, you did. I, okay, sorry. I, I think I think that well, I think that it's it's a little it's a tough matchup, obviously, and his price is not. You're not getting enough of a discount off of it. But I guess if I'm going to mention Dylan Bundy now, now they're both going to be similarly low owned. Um, right. It's a tough matchup, but I, I don't mind the idea of throwing throwing that in there. Um, it's just not not what I would be doing. I think that I'd rather play um, Manaya uh, than than either of those guys, uh, which feels gross also yeah. to me. Um, so, no, so or, nonetheless, nonetheless, I agree, I agree with you. I like St. Louis. I had them alongside of the Mets, um, mm -hmm. and we'll get to the other one uh, in a minute. Um, but uh, as kind of a good Houston pivot, um, and I, I don't think I'm going to get to the Reds today. Um, I usually play the Reds, but I don't think I'm going to get to them today. If you're going to play a one-off from the Reds, I, 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 I failed to mention the best one, which is Aquino, who's actually got some real power, and he's been hitting home runs. He's got seven home runs and 120 at bats against righties this season. That's pretty solid for a guy who's a pitch to contact pitcher in Mikolas. He's also been hot. It's 80 degrees there. All these things. I, I think that I think that Aquino is is a very solid, assuming that he is in fact in the lineup at 2100. I don't know why they don't raise his price. He actually has been been pretty uh pretty hot for them. Uh, you know, down this last part. I mean, he's he's hit three home runs in his last seven starts. Um, I think that that's an interesting guy you can use to get a little different. Um. So, so right, here's you know, here's a question I wanted to ask you, um, and I feel I feel bad doing it when you have you're not really paying much of attention and when you're in Idaho and all this stuff, but because but I have to ask who who is who is Dre Jameson? Dre Jameson. I wish I knew more about him, and honestly, I don't have the, even the ability to to to. I, th I think I'm just going to play him. Um, <laughs> no, I mean like he's, he's yeah okay, and and and. He, what he's 25 years old let's see what we got here i'll grab i'll grab some info on him oh, real quick. I, I, do, I do know the name yeah and then 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 uh, listen they got something going on the minors ryan nelson's not bad tommy henry's not bad um mm -hmm. i don't know five game mm -hmm. slate you know it says his numbers aren't impressive under the surface yikes um and he plays yeah. but, but he pitched it says in hitter friendly parks mm -hmm. 4, 4k i mean <laughs> 4k yeah, um, I think it's reasonable. Take a shot. I mean, we've seen this with with. I mean, look, we, they just got what? Are, what is that other guy who who I should have listened to you on the the Ryan or whatever? He just he was put good, up, right? Uh, he was pretty yeah, good. The Dodgers, but he, yeah. but he, I mean, he he smashed against the uh, the Padres right yes. before that. 
So I think that, that might that, be that, something. Maybe maybe teams against the Padres. Maybe Padres you know do what? bad scouting. I don't know. I, I you know what? I might be interested. I might be into that a little bit. I like that. I like the idea of of trying to find something different. And maybe that's something you could hang your hat on and get different. And also some of these other contrary, you know, the, the, the part of the reason why the Mets and Cardinals are going to be a little lower owned to the bats that you want is because their their price. Right. So this allows you to get those guys in and you could play a three, you could do a three, three, two and include those guys with minute with Houston or something. Yeah. And, and, it, and, it, and I think you'd be off the board enough, if, especially if you're playing Jamison and look, if you get your 10 fantasy points, I think you might be okay. It's not like we're expecting these pitchers on this slate to put up 35. Um, of course, the last time I said that Valdez went out and pitched a complete game shutout, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, but I, I like that. I like that a little bit. And, and for what it's worth at this, at the same time, I'm kind of into the idea of fading a very high owned Padres team. Uh, I obviously it's a strong lineup. Uh, the pricing is reasonable. It, Juan Soto, if he's really only 25% owned tonight, I'd be shocked. I think, I think that you're much closer with your projections. I think he's going to be in the thir- in the thirties. He's going to be the high. He might, own, he might end up at high buy ends like 50% owned, which is just crazy for any baseball player. He's 4,900, which is kind of an egregious price, but like, I love the idea of sort of fading uh, you know, I think you could argue for both pitchers from this game. And, and I think that you don't have to worry then so much about ownership if you do that, because that's going to differentiate your build just in itself. And we see it all the time. Guys win with everybody double digit owned in their lineup part of their, just because they have a different, a differentiating build. And I think this is a way to do it. So I kind of like the idea of the Jamison thing. He's been really bad at triple a, but the talent is still there. They're trying to, you know, ride him. He was the 34th overall pick a few years ago. So that's obviously has some pedigree um he's got a good strikeout per nine until he got to triple a he you know, he it dropped off the map um but look they've never seen him before if he goes five innings and, and strikes out four and gives up one run and and, and maybe has a chance for the win you're looking at a, a chance at 12 to, to 15 fantasy points maybe even a little higher so yeah, i, I kind of like that me. idea yeah i would take that well, um the other I, thing I like by the idea. way the other thing by the way that i was going to ask you it's going to tell you that happened yesterday which doesn't happen very often is that the highest scoring pitcher on the slate um, was also the opposing team was the highest scoring stack on the slate. <laughs> That's all. Isn't that the way that it happens sometimes? Well, so no, because what happened is Lodolo, like basically, like like that, like eleven strikeouts against the Pirates, and then they got they take they took him out after six, and then the bullpen got rolled. So that's, yep. that's, that's what happens sometimes. Yeah, speaking again to how bad – I mean, the Cincinnati re- bullpen is epically bad. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's – that. so I, I like what we're talking about here. And and and, and I, I think you can make an argument for both pitchers in this last game. But I also think you can make an argument for both sides. I think that I'm, I would just avoid the Padres because I think the Padres and Houston end up just significantly higher owned than St. Louis and the Mets. And I just want to reiterate that I do like St. Louis and the Mets the best. Some individual bats that I like. Um, Miranda, that's a Minnesota one. I like uh, I like the St. Louis uh, the the Goldschmidt and uh, and O'Neill especially. I really like uh, if I if I had to pick my favorite Houston bats, it probably would be Tucker, uh, Altuve, and and Alvarez. Nothing special there. And then for the Mets, Alonzo and uh, and and uh, Lindor. Which again, you'd have to in order to get a, a step. Like if you want to play all those guys together, you have to play this this pitcher for for Arizona here today. So. I, I think that's worth taking a shot on, man, unless we hear something about how he's only going to throw like 50 pitches, which I doubt, because basically every starter that comes up that they're going to bring yeah. in, they're going to let throw 75, right? Yeah. Um, which should be plenty. Yeah. I like this idea, Sheets. I think you might be, I think they might be onto something. I bet you, I bet you it picks up a tiny bit of steam today, but it will not be above like, I don't know, it definitely won't be above 10%. Well, it might this, be like is, above this, is, this is the way we can tell. So here, let's do this just for the hell of it. Let's okay. put in, so is, is Alvarez out, you think? It says, I, it, it's a, he's day to day every day. It's very hard to know with him. I don't know why they thought of playing his absence for maintenance purposes. So I'm going to presume he's in. Right. So if you put him in, and you put in Tucker, and you put in um, Bregman, it's just overspend for everything. Let's what you put in Altuve. Boy, oh boy. And who else do you play? Pena, I guess. So well, I wouldn't say, go five man, but go ahead. Yeah. Well, like, I'm just saying what yeah. what people could do, right? And yeah. let's just say that that's what I try to figure out. Let's you say you do this, McCullers and uh, I don't know Mikolas. So you can't play this. I I, I just like to do this, right? Yeah. Just for just for kicks, if you did that, you could actually play this. You could um, get away with it. Yep. If you wanted to. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so uh, 
Yeah, I agree. I, I do think that, by the way, I think he might he might get a little bit. And it's one of those things that if he's like kind of higher owned, I actually don't mind it because that means he probably has something. You know what I mean? <laughs> that he probably has some talent that, that you know what I mean? That that sharp people know about, I guess. Um, that wouldn't really bother me all that much. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess that could be that could be other way to get different. But but, you know, we didn't talk about um, I mean, you brought him up. I kind of cut you off. Do you like Manaya as a pivot here or not really? Um, I think he's, re I think he's reasonable. Um, uh -huh. I, I think that he's better than he's been, but he's, he has looked, he hasn't looked well, looked, looked good for a while now. Um, but I, I love the idea of, I'm starting, I, I'm really sold on this. I think if I was playing one big lineup today, I would, I would do this Arizona pitcher thing. That's the one thing I feel like I've come away with. And I, and I also want to throw out there, even with the stack you just made, like you could put the most expensive players together, throw Miranda in. Miranda has been great against lefties. I, I really like the Miranda, the Miranda play. And um, I just like this, the St. Louis, Minnesota and the Mets. And I, I would be picking like, I would be doing like three, two, two, ones, three, three, twos, um, things like that. I, I just don't think I'd be fully stacking here. And, uh, and I would be trying to avoid Houston outside of maybe, but, but if I'm playing that pitcher, I don't really need to worry about it as much. So I, I like that. I like, I sort of like what we've come up with as a, as a different way of, of, of potentially giving yourself a chance on a, on a giant, uh, in big tournaments on a, a tiny slate. All right. Um, Sheets, anything else before we get out of here? No, nah, I think we're good. Okay. I'm going to post my course for today. I'm going to try to, I'm going to post my course for the NFL, but it might not be for a day or so. Um, I'm not going to be posting any early lineup builds because uh, I can't build lineups here. So um, all that stuff is going to be gone, but I will, I will uh, do all my cores and stuff like that. Anything I can do on the site, I'll try to do. So that's where I'm at. Um, Sheets, thanks a lot, man. Again, for everything, guys, we appreciate you all for hanging in there. I'll be back next week and looking forward to it. Ready? Maybe this week off is what I needed to get back to rolling. Um, I actually finally had a, a good winning night the other night, by the way, the last time I played oh, on God. Monday. So, uh, hopefully we can keep a little bit of that momentum going for me. And then hopefully you guys can win all the money in the meantime. All right. Uh, good, luck. All right. good luck to everybody.